Oh, I have to tell that RGV story, right? Nijo, Nijo wanted, Nijo, you wanted to hear the RGV story. So, when I was in Darna Mana Hai, let me take my hat off for this. When I was in, uh, when I was in Darna Mana Hai, and in the last scene, I disappeared because I was shooting uh, some other film at the time in Thailand, and they wanted to reshoot this last scene. And cut a long story short, I wasn't there, and I guess nobody sort of was brave enough to tell RGV that I'm not there because he came and said, "Is the shoot sorted?" And they said, "Yes, sir, it is," and stood up and saluted him like you know all kids would do to a respected filmmaker. And the shoot was like the next day, and when they came on shoot, RGV said, "Where's Gaurav?" or that boy as he may have referred to me at the time and they said oh he's not here so they thought that you know there's it's just a quick scene and there's 20 actors and ambulance and you know that last scene no one will notice <laughs> little did they know the impression that i'd made through the film i guess but anyway a few months later i, I met um, uh, ram gopal varma at uh, i met rgv at uh, manmohan shetty's house and he says Late into the night, we were standing and we were chatting and he says, Gaurav, I owe you an apology. I was like, no, sir, why do you? You don't owe me an apology for anything. He says, you were not in the last scene of the film. And I thought, it's okay, we can go ahead and do it. But this one distributor from Bihar told me, where is that young boy in the end? He's not there. That's when I realized you must have made quite an impression in the film. I owe you an apology. Of course, I, I felt sort of a little... Uh, I was very humbled and also mildly embarrassed. So I just said, uh, that's that's fine, sir. I'm just, you know, I, I made a stupid joke, which is I think I made more of an impression by not being in that scene than I did by being in the whole film. So now I'm just going to sign a lot of films where I'm not in any scene. So I made some stupid joke like that. And he, of course, politely laughed. And that moment was buried in history and in my mind forever and ever. Recreated now for you, Nijo, courtesy MissMalini.com. Nijo, my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs>